city of my youth. so quickly. There were golden domes and, and, and towering marble colonnades. Ramnod, come hither. Yes, Father. My son, now that you are of a mature age, you are old enough to toil with the other men of Teloth in the fields, to earn your keep. It sounds reasonable. <laughs> Ramnod, not this again. What am I going to do with you? I saw a golden city in my dreams, a far-off kingdom. It looked so real. Ramna, we have no time for fancies. All men in Teloth must toil. Father, what if I do not want to work in the fields? If you do not want to work in the fields, then you'll have to join me on the line. Think of it. You'll see me every day the rest of your life. Oh, uh, no, the fields are fine. You know, the sun beating down, the back-breaking labor, it's great. Nonsense. You'll be my apprentice. Ramnod, I could not be prouder of the man you are becoming. <laughs> gotta work, gotta work, gotta give some thanks. We are always working hard to fill the best. If you want to free and free our work, then you better leave our ranks. Gotta stay, gotta stay on track. Every single move we make, we can't look back. Get into our way, just to play a song. You there? You are gonna pay for that. You interrupted our toiling. From my perspective, your men interrupted my singing. Singing? What do you think? The world's your stage or something? Yes! Yes, it is. Would you like to hear a song? Ramnod, come hither! Yes, Father. My son, tend to the man's wounds, bandage him, but he will leave in the morning. The stables are where we house newcomers. This way. Five minutes in a new town, and they're already raring to drive me out. What is that? This? This is my loot. Uh, loot? It may not be as tender as the harp or as majestic as the flute, but it does make such lovely melodies. <laughs> <laughs> melodies? Small one. Do you know what music is? Uh, Father says, and telleth all men must toil. Father says we have no time for such fancies. You've already healed. Are you magic? There are many different kinds of magic in this world, small one. Did you draw this picture? Oh, this isn't allowed in Teleth. <laughs> so, it's called a picture? That kingdom that you drew, where did you see it? I saw a golden city in my dreams. It seemed to call to me. I was the marble city of lutes and dancing. I've never heard tell of Ira. Once, I was crowned prince of the kingdom of Ira. Ever since my father was exiled, I have been looking for a way back. This picture is the closest I have come. If you're longing for belonging and you're dreaming of a light in the night ever gleaming, that's where you belong. Why then wallow, simply wallow, walking hours to the city of glittering towers, where you will belong, the land of romancing, music and dancing.
I would entertain my court every night at times hundreds. Nay, thousands of onlookers would greet me with rapturous applause. Where are they now? Awaiting my return. If my friend less on this endless quest for glory, somewhere near there's an ear for my story, where I will to me. I do not toil. My skin burns too easily. <laughs> Why would you turn down such an offer? Here in Teloth you get three square meals a day. Every year you get your very own personal birthday cake. <laughs> and when you die in Teloth, your body is returned to the earth you cultivate. That actually happens everywhere. <laughs> Father, the work he does, it has more worth than you credit him for. Worth? Are you trying to defend this vagabond? No, father. I wish to become apprentice to Aronoff. He could toil to earn his board and meanwhile teach me to sing. Sing? Romnod, an artist has never come out of Tella. I could be the first. What could this busker possibly have to contribute to our town? Why is my work any less than yours? Sing your song, sing your song, but to us your mute. Sing a little song at home, your words pollute. Walk into our town and you frown at work with your golden crown and loot. I only wish to sing songs of my homeland. I'm a... See this man, see this man, tell me who are you, bringing nothing but deceit. His words are true. He is just a fake. Can you take a chance? He is bound to break into ever compliant and ceaselessly loyal. All men in Teloth must toil.
something so beautiful and then leave. I see. Hoping someone will remember. City to city I journey in the hopes that someone out there has heard of Ira and can direct me home. And what if you do not like your homeland? If you do not like the story you are given, change it. And why do you care? I told you I Why care. do you care about me? You remind me of a boy I once knew. A childhood companion. He was the only one who understood my longing, and I miss him greatly. Where is he now? How I wish I could have brought him on my quest, so he was not dulled by the poison of life. You've touched my soul, Aaron. How am I supposed to return to that stone place now? If you are anything like I am, you cannot. Then take me with you. But what about your father? I'll find someone else to toil for him. I just... How do I leave behind everything I've ever known? You go. Go. Though there's seldom road to wander. Go. Go. You'll soon begin to climb, so go. Go. See it way and way out yonder. No time to wander. It's a half time. Why look out all wistful at the world beyond your door? Go out and grab a fistful of the thing you're longing for. And 
And if I sing my song with you, always sing along with you, can I find my homeland too? In a matter of time. <laughs> you are too ambitious, small one. You cannot play like me. Not yet, at least. But then when? <laughs> song we have to write through a million cities, through a million towns, standing by my side through ups and downs. I've lost track of how many seasons have passed, Gurna, and we've yet to find your homeland. Ramna, you are beginning to sound like the mindless sheep you left behind in Tello. I cannot blindly follow you meandering aimlessly with no idea where to find this city of art and music. City of art and music? Support in that direction. Do you know it? Thank you. Oh, I'm happy to help you and your brother. Brother? See, Ram Nod, I told you, if I sing my song long enough, someone will know the way to Ira. It's a matter of time. Time. A matter of holding on to art, of always following your heart. Never let the people play in sheep. It's a matter of 
have time. Oh. I see a dome over the precipice. Aaron, did you hear that traveler say that I look like your brother? I do hope that they accept us despite the late hour. And yet you are so many years older than us. I see a gate. How can that be that so many years have passed and yet you do not appear to have aged? The towering marble wall and the verdant garden. Aaron, do you not age? Just as I am mad. Aaron! I suppose I don't. <laughs> well, how can that be? Did you make a, a boon with a wise mage? Did a witch curse you? I held on to my dream. <laughs> Is that all it takes? <laughs> Tell us, friends, where do we find ourselves? Do you not know? What kind of a man stumbles onto our show? A show? Yes, it is so. Each day in Unai is a constant revelry. Far from any talk of toiling or devilry. This Unai doesn't have any relation to the kingdom of Iron. Never heard of it. That is a shame. We can sleep overnight, Unai, but we dare not tarry long. Ira awaits us. But Unai is everything you ever dreamed of. But it is not Ira. We've traveled for so long, and I'm very tired. We've not heard one word of Ira. Do you not desire to settle down at last, Irinon? Irinon? Your name is Irinon? We've been expecting you! How could that be? Queen Una wishes to speak to you at your earliest convenience. If you would please come this way. Uh, who? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I'm not. There are crowds of people begging to hear my songs. Imagine, I've journeyed for you on your mission for years, but you spend one evening in her perfect kingdom and suddenly she understands your longing. Does she understand the depths of your soul like I do? Ramna. No, I understand. You found your utopia. I hope you're happy. It's perfect in the night. How could you want for any with anyone before. Oh, I could tell. You were off. No, I wasn't. In Ira, it would be enough to play by myself. Uh, by yourself? Wouldn't it get lonely? No, thousands of people would watch. Thousands? And they'd applaud every time that I finished. Do you have to threaten them with execution, or? But in the harsh light of day, Unai looks nothing like Ira. Look at the golden domes, they don't glimmer at all. Okay, yeah, sure like the golden domes last night. And the walls, look, they're not golden, they're fake. Do you realize how expensive gold is? <laughs> and so what if we have to compromise? <laughs> we have found where we belong. I mean, once you find Ira, do you really expect it to be everything that you remember? Yes. gold again. I was falling asleep, I would gaze out the window onto those glittering lights, and I knew there were people out there who understood me. When I left, I asked my childhood companion to follow. I thought he would understand what I was longing for, but when I told him, he just laughed. I finally understand what you have been longing for, Ramna. If Una gives you what you want, I cannot fault you for that. Last night I was blinded by the cavalcade of colors and glittering lights. In the harsh light of day, I can see what I couldn't before. The only one who has ever understood my longing is you. What are you saying? I should have seen it earlier. Between Una and her kingdom of Unai, naming a kingdom after yourself, stupid. <laughs> Unai, it's but a false Ira. Let us take our leave together. And then what? When will we know that we found Ira? You've already found the perfect place to accept your song. If everything is perfect, then why is it wrong? Nothing is wrong, not as it seems. But nothing is like that city of my dreams. Look at the domes, shining and gold. And look again, they're tired and old. What are the columns, marble and tall? So ancient and crumbling, they might as well fall. There are glittering lights, like you sang of from youth. And that, in itself, should be your proof. Everything is dull next to Ira. <laughs> Beautiful Ira, perfect Ira. Why can't you just accept what's right in front of you? 
Why would you do that? I, th I thought you understood my longing. I, I thought you desired to settle down at last, you're not a... What I desire is to sing my song surrounded by people who understand my longing. Do you not have other longings? Do you not desire people too? I understand art. I do not need to understand other people. We can pretend as if you've never broken faith. If you promise to always follow me, we can continue on our journey. Well, Ramna, come hither. No. I've spent my entire life Blindly following because I thought it would make me happy. But look at you. You live your life in a dream. Fly from fancy to fancy. You say things are not as they seem. That this city is fake. Look how it glitters and gleams. Like that place you imagine, can you not call your passion and finally wait? I will not waste my songs on a false eyebrow, growing fat and complacent. And will you turn me into one of your songs? I too? only sing of things that are beautiful. Scare the 
sheep stranger. I implore you, you must tell me, where am I, old man? Old man. I am looking for a city of art and music called Ina. I don't suppose you've heard of it. Ira. No, I haven't heard that name in many years. Do you know it? Well, in a way, you found it. But I see only a single shaft and a herd of sheep. I am a shepherd. But if this is Ira, where are the glittering lights of a city on the horizon? Lights glittering off the twilight marsh? What of the shimmering golden domes? A stone slope where my sheep graze. And what of the towering marble colonnades? Those are trees. <laughs> I don't understand. If you know Ira, do you know me? <laughs> Perhaps I do. You remind me of a boy I once knew during our days of fun. You could almost be his grandson. Are you? Ira, Boy, you sang a far off land. Ivernon. Ivernon Ivern 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 and the kingdom of Ivra. <laughs> but we all laughed at him, for we knew him to be the son of a beggar, not the son of a king. And Ivra? There was never a kingdom of Ivra, nor could we delight in the stories he spun, for we had known him since birth. And what of the boy? Gone. He went in search of those who would listen to his songs and dreams. <laughs> Turning the page with so much unspoken Secret ignored, emerged with the dawn Starting to age, his spell finally broken Youth quickly fading, his magic was gone That night, an old man in tattered purple rags and a rusted crown was seen walking into the marsh See you.